Welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellen. Today we have a question that was asked in one of my Excel seminars. I thought this was a great question. The person had a text file that was coming in from somewhere and it was actually a CSV file, a comma separated values, stored with an extension of CSV. And the person said that they had a problem where the leading zeros on zip codes and social security numbers were getting lost. Now, of course, the solution to this occurs in step three of the text to columns wizard. But unfortunately, we have a problem because this particular file is a CSV file. Um, we never get to see step three of the wizard. And here's the file in Notepad. You can see that we have some social security numbers here that start with zero, a few zip codes that start with zero. Now let's take a look at what happens when we open this file with Microsoft Excel. Because it's a CSV file, Excel automatically opens the file without taking us through the text to columns wizard. And you'll see that we lost the leading zeros on all of those numbers and the leading zeros on the zip codes. We need to find a way to force Excel to take us through the text to columns wizard. Let me close this file and we'll go back to Windows Explorer. Now in my Windows Explorer, I've gone in and changed the settings. I've gone into Tools, Folder Options, and under View, about a third of the way down, there's a setting here called Hide Extensions for Known File Types. Now by default, that's turned on. I've turned mine off so that way I can actually see the extension. And now I can see adata.csv. The trick to solve this problem is to go through rename the file. So I'm going to rename and change it to a .txt file. So I changed it from a CSV file to a .txt file. It warns us, it says, if you change the file name extension, it may become unusable. Well, that's okay because we're just changing from CSV to text. Now if we go back to Excel, we use File Open. We say that we want to see all the text files. Instead of opening a data.csv, we open the text file, click Open, and now because this is a .txt extension, it takes us through the wizard. So we can say that it's delimited. In step two, say it's delimited by a comma. And then in step three, this is the important part, we'll say that this field, the social security number, is text, and the zip code field is text. That forces the leading zeros to stay put. Now, of course, I hate using that text option, but in this case, we have no choice in order to keep those leading zeros. The big problem we have is that this column is now, I'll call, poisoned. We can't insert any new formula. So if I come here equal 2 plus 2, we get the text instead of the formula. You actually have to go through and reformat those columns as general if you need to be able to later enter formulas or totals. Of course, no reason to enter totals in the social security number or zip code, so we don't have a problem there. But it's a great point. If you have a file that's stored as a .csv file, you never get an opportunity in the third step of the wizard because Excel just automatically opens the file. The solution, go out to Windows Explorer, rename the file to be a .txt file, open in Excel where we can then have some control over the settings. Hey, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.